Hi guys, I want to mention Jump and Save for using uh, Mario Party DS, which was released in November of 2007. Now, uh, the plot, kind of, of this game uh, is basically that Mario and friends uh, are invited by Bowser to attend some sort of party, but in actuality, uh, Bowser basically shrinks Mario and crew uh, by using this, so this sort of like a uh, cane type of thing, I forgot what it was called, I haven't played it in like a long time um, and, and yeah basically uh, in order to get back to normal size uh, Mario and his friends basically have to find these various sky crystal thingies um, that are scattered around various uh, boards. Now I think this is a, a sort of like good plot because if there if there are newcomers to Mario uh, party I'd say uh, the DS version is probably the best one to uh, to go into because it's the it's kind of easy to understand and probably uh, one of the easier Mario games to basically like get used to uh, and so yeah uh, and I think like with each board I think each theme fits well because uh, th there are like a variety of amount of boards, I think it's like four or five different boards, probably five, I could be wrong, um, but yeah, and each theme is is different, so you've got a jungle themed board, a music themed board, a library themed board, um, a garden themed board, and a, uh, um, a pinball themed board, and I think each board is quite unique and quite interesting because each board doesn't feel repetitive because because basically what you basically have to do in the game is basically you pick a character and uh, you and three other characters basically go around a board and collect power stars and whoever has the most basically wins that game and you also get to play several mini games along the way and you earn coins and you can basically swap coins or with other players or team up with certain characters in some of the mini games and stuff like that and I think that's quite interesting because uh, I think Mario Party is one of those few games that can have that sort of like you know uh, breaking friends relationship and it can basically either you know make uh, some people win um, and have others feel frustrated or everyone wins and they're all happy about it and no lives are lost, if you know what I mean. Because Mary Party is basically the game where people can basically just win out of pure luck. And also, if you're playing in like story mode, uh, you, you, you can basically um, fight a particular boss on each board. Now, if you're playing alone, I think this the the, mo the um, story mode is single player. If you if you win you you are able to face the boss but if you lose and one of the NPCs win uh, that kind of is an automatic automatic game over because um, if an NPC fights the boss they automatically lose so yeah and if you face a particular boss um, you'll be able to like uh, basically just go through the boss battle and just doing uh, whatever it takes to basically beat the boss and collect the specific, specific sky crystal. Now, with each boss in the in the different boards, I think each boss uh, is you know just like the boards are you know quite unique to their specific board. So, in the first board, um, I remember the boss being a massive piranha plant, and basically, what that boss battle is is basically what piranha plant does is basically he breathes in air and he basically has yeah they're basically the, like these sort of bomb sort of like plant thingies I'm not too sure what they are uh, and basically you have to grab one and throw them to piranha plant's mouth and then he'll get he'll be given damage uh, and then you got variety of variety more bosses um, on the different boards the only boss that I think that doesn't really fit um, in the board itself is probably the final boss, which is Bowser, uh, mainly because um, the final board is basically this massive pinball machine thing. And when you uh, get to fight Bowser, 
he basically turns into this um, bunch of blocks um, and with the obvious weak spots and I don't think that really fits the whole pinball um, dynamic of uh, the board that, it, that the boss fight fits in and the mini games I quite enjoyed um, you've got ones that you require the use of the stylus uh, use of the microphone use of a variety of other things that the DS uh, could do at the time and I think these mini games suit the DS like you know the, the hardware of the DS because um, you can basically just do like a variety of things and yeah, I think it's like a really cool uh, Mario Party game. Um, if you're like a newcomer, I would suggest you know picking this up as your first Mario game, just so you can um, have like you know a go at what Mario Party is. Um, if I had to rank this amount about of like you know where this place is in Mario Party games, I would say this is better than the Wii U Mario Party games. But not as good as the uh, the Switch Mario Party game, uh, mainly because this um, Super Mario Party for the Switch is you know probably like you know a good comeback to the normal Mario Party games. But uh, Mario Party for the DS is you know a good second, a good second uh, place for Mario Party when it comes to like Mario Party standards. And I think this is like you know a kind of really good handheld Mario Party game. So. Yeah, if you're a newcomer, I suggest uh, playing uh, Mario Party DS out first so you can understand some of the concepts of Mario Party and then maybe getting the Switch version so then you, you'll be have more familiar, familiarity with it. So yeah, that's been uh, my review for Super Mario Party or Mario Party for the DS. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.